Welcome to class tonight. I do hope that you all are doing well and are having a great night. Tonight we're going to be taking our learning into the third dimension. Yes, we're going to be talking about three-dimensional figures. Now, much of this should already be a review for you. But we are going to be covering the basics. All three-dimensional figures are made up of three things. You can see them on the board here. You see edges, uh, vertices is the plural term, or vertex singular, and then faces. All three-dimensional figures are made up of those three things. Now, the faces are going to be the flat sides of the figure. The edges are going to be the line segments that connect all these faces. And then the vertices are going to be, the vertex is going to be the points that connect all of those edges. So once again, all three-dimensional figures are made up of those three things. Now, we are going to be breaking all three-dimensional figures into one, they, they all fit into one of three groups, and you can see those three groups on the board right there. The first one we're going to talk about is prisms, and they do an excellent job of describing prisms here at the bottom of page 462. Now prisms, the definition of a prism is it has two parallel and congruent polygons as bases. So let me talk about those words. First of all, parallel, meaning they never intersect, they never cross. Congruent means they are the exact same. And then polygons means they must be a polygon. So in other words, they cannot be an open figure. They cannot be a curved figure. They must be made up of line segments and they must be closed. So all prisms are made up of congruent polygons, or congruent parallel polygons. So I'll underline those three words because those are key. Now here in my example, I have, so I see two parallel and congruent polygons that make it up. Now, with prisms, we actually, there's a name for almost every single prism out there. And you, they get their name, most of them get their name, from their base, whatever polygon their base is. Now, cubes, the one you see there, is a little different because we call that, that, the name for that is a cube. But if I were to have a triangular prism, if I were to have a triangle as the base, I would call it a triangular prism. If I were to have, the re have a rectangle, as the polygon or the prism's base, it would be a rectangular prism, and so on and so forth. You can actually go many, many times. There's octagonal prisms, meaning there's an octagon as its base, and it has two parallel and congruent polygons as bases. So prisms, very, very interesting, and you can go lots and lots of places with that as well. Now the next group we're going to be talking about is pyramids. Now a pyramid only has one polygon as its base. Let me underline that. Only one polygon. So right here, I see a rectangular pyramid. Because that's a, technically, we could call the, that, that shape right there a rectangle. So it's a rectangular pyramid. And the last group we're going to be talking about then is the non-polygons. And non-polygons simply do not have a polygon. So we see here and here, it has two parallel congruent shapes, but they're not polygons. They are circles. Remember, a circle is not a polygon. So cylinders are non-polygon or non-polygonal three-dimensional figures. Now let's go ahead and practice naming some of these shapes. On page 463 here, you see some examples. Now this first shape right here, I see a pentagon as its base, it has two parallel pentagons. And so we're going to call that a pentagonal prism. Once again, a pentagonal prism. Now right here, I see rectangles all the way around. So that's going to be a rectangular prism. And in this last one, I see triangles as its basis. So that's going to be a triangular prism. Now here, you have a great example, another example of a rectangular prism. And these are some examples of some non polygonal three-dimensional figures that they do not use a polygon. Now let's go and practice very quickly finding the names of these shapes. Now once again I'm trying to emphasize this. I see a triangle right here and right here. And I have two parallel congruent polygons. So this is going to be what we call a triangular prism. A triangular prism. It's a prism because it has two parallel congruent polygons. So it's a triangular prism. Now this one right here, I see rectangles, lots of them. And so that's going to be another example 
because I have two parallel congruent rect uh, uh, rectangles. So we're going to call that a rectangular prism. Now this last one, I see no polygons in it whatsoever, so it's going to be classified as a non-polygonal figure, and we specifically call that a sphere. So those are the, those are some, just some examples of some of the work you'll be doing. Well, that is your lesson tonight. The main thing you need to take away is you need to work on memorizing these 3D shapes names. And specifically, you've got to know what makes up a prism, what makes up a period, uh, pyramid, and then what makes up a non-polygonal shape. So know those things, and you will do very, very well. Now, your homework tonight is going to be page 464, 2 through 12 even. Once again, page 464, 2 through 12 even. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you all tomorrow.